Hey everyone, thank you so much for watching today's video. If it's your first time on my YouTube channel, my name is Anne and if you have been here already, welcome back. So in today's video, I'm going to show you how to create this sparkly, glamorous, navi eye makeup look for the holidays. Of course, you can wear this eye look for any occasion you want to wear it for, but I especially made this for the holidays. And I actually did a poll on my Instagram asking what kind of look you wanted me to make. And most people voted for this Navi smoky eye. So that's what I'm going to teach you guys today. And the first thing I'm going to do, as always, is prime my eyelids. I'm using the MAC Cosmetics Paint Pot in the color Soft Ochre. And then I went in with the eyeshadow guard. If you don't have these at home, you can also use some regular sticky tape. So I'm going in with the Be Perfect Carnival XL palette, which is in collaboration with Stacey Mary. She's an incredible makeup artist and this is actually one of my favorite palettes, even though I don't use it very often. Um, it's actually in my special drawer with my favorite palettes. I just think the colors in this palette are really pretty and especially for this time of the year, I really want to use it more often because it contains a lot of beautiful colors, some colorful shades, some more neutral shades, so I can definitely create a lot of different looks with it. So I started with this kind of like neutral brown color and I'm just blending this all the way in my crease going from the inner corner to the outer corner. I'm just making sure that it's blended all the way. Then now I'm going to go in with this color which is called Fex, which is kind of like more of a cool tone. Also kind of neutral colored shade. Super pretty and I'm going to start blending this in my outer V. And then with whatever is left on my brush, I'm also going to blend it more towards my crease area. So I wanted to start with more softer colors because I'm going to create kind of like a smoky eye look. And I know some people like to start with dark shades, but I like to do it the other way around and start with light colors and then just gradually like build it up going in with darker and darker shades. So I'm just continuing with blending now also focusing more like at the inner corner of my crease and I just keep adding product whenever I need. I just want a little bit extra, but I'm just taking my time with this. So of course, everything I'm doing at one side, I'm also doing at the other side. And then I went in with the color Lights Out, which is a super black matte shade. And I'm gonna do kind of the same as I did with the previous color. I'm starting with blending this in my outer V. And then later on with whatever's left on my brush, I'm also gonna blend it more towards my crease and the inner corner part of my crease. I always kind of do this with the leftover that is on my brush. If I would go straight in, like in the inner corner section, um, that would, would be too much product and it will look too intense. So I always like to use like the leftovers on my brush and apply the most product more like in the outer V area. Of course, if you want your inner corner to be super black, you could go in with more of black eyeshadow like straight away, but I would suggest to go in with like a tinier brush. So I'm just adding more of the black eyeshadow just because I wasn't really satisfied with the darkness. I wanted it to be even more dark and smoky. And then after that, I went in with this beautiful blue color. It actually matches really nice with the sparkle I wanted to go in with. So I was just going through my drawers and search for like a sparkle that I wanted to use. And this eyeshadow looked really similar. So it was perfect to use for today's makeup look. And I'm just using my finger to apply this all over the eyelid. I feel like that works best. I always say this in my videos, um, using your finger just gives way more color payoff compared to like using a brush. And then after that, I did went in with a brush just to kind of softly like pat it on the outer portions. And then I went in with the glitter Odessa from Anastasia, used a flat blending brush and just kind of like dipped my brush on my eyelid. Then I dipped the same brush that still has a little bit of the tackiness on it from the glitter glue and then I dipped it in the glitter and then directly on the eyelids. So I just continued to do this a few times, adding a little bit more and more. And also the eyeshadow guards are gonna like pick up some of the fallout of the glitter. It didn't pick up everything because I still have a lot of glitter on my face, but I just wiped that away with like a little cotton pad with some cleanser on it. Um, and then I move to the next step, which is eyeliner. I do have a separate video on my YouTube channel where I go really in depth on showing you like the best way to apply eyeliner on top of glitter because sometimes it can be a little bit of a struggle. So I will link that video down in the description bar in case you want to see 
what's the best way to apply eyeliner and how to make it like really stand out. So now next I'm gonna go in with this pencil which is by Makeup by Mario. It's his black pencil which is so nice. Um, he also has the same pencil but in the color soft brown which is actually one of my favorite pencils. It's super pretty and I also feel like the pencils from Makeup by Mario just really last long in the wild line which is really important as well of course. So I went in with a little bit of black eyeshadow underneath the lower lash line. And then I went in with the color effects and blended a lot of this shade underneath the lower lash line. I really wanted my lower lash line to look super nice and smoky. So I applied it quite low in comparison to what I would normally do. Just to add a little bit more of smokiness underneath the lower lash line. So I went in with that light color which I used underneath the brows as well and used that for the inner corner. Then I curled my lashes. I always do this before applying mascara. And then I went in with the Trini London Mascara. And this mascara actually has one side which has a eyebrow gel and one side has a mascara. Now I'm not going to focus too much on my upper lashes because I am going in with fake lashes. But I do always try to make my lower lashes as long as possible. Then for my fake lashes I went in with the Sigma Beauty Doe Eyed Lash Style which is a super pretty lash style. Not too dramatic, not too neutral, but I just wanted to not go in with lashes which are super dramatic and covering up my eyelids because I still want you guys to see like the sparkle and everything that's going on on the eyelids. So yeah, this is the end result. I really hope you like this glamorous makeup look. It really inspires me to do a lot more of these looks. I just love using glitter and this is like the best time of the year to upload these kind of videos. So let me know if you want to see more glamorous glitter looks. Let me know in the comments down below. Also, don't forget to give this video a thumbs up if you did enjoy. This is really helpful for my YouTube channel. Also, don't forget to subscribe if you aren't already. And hopefully, I will see you all in the next one. Bye, guys. Even if you try, you wouldn't understand it. Maybe something's missing inside of you. Just a bit of sugar to that heart. sit beside you while you're going on about your simple life